In this video, I will build a creepy, haunted-looking aquarium made out of Lego. I'll even be populating it with my very own bed of fish. The newest addition to my family. Looks like a feisty one. Oh look, he's following my finger, how cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh my Growing up, I used to go fishing with my dad. It's very nostalgic for me, but I haven't been fishing in a while. So today, I thought I'd bring the fishes to me by creating my own tiny fish tank entirely out of Lego. It's all good. And even adding a real bed of fish to live in it. Oh, there's a gravestone floating. They're all floating. Been a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. I think my cats would love to have a fish buddy. I'm just hoping they don't end up eating him. I'll protect him with my life. I have had several fish tanks in the past, but never one made out of Lego. So this might be a bit difficult to build. Lego can't hold water. So how do you plan on building a fish tank out of it? I don't know. I haven't thought that far about it. <laughs> I typically do videos more like dipping random stuff in 100 layers of hot wax and inflicting natural disasters on my cursed Lego minifigures. Those were purely for entertainment. But today's video is a lot more complex. It involves skill and calculus and wisdom beyond my years. Also, a lot of money. <laughs> I've never made a Lego aquarium before, so I don't know how things are gonna go. To be honest, I don't even know if this'll work. The complication with this is that while Lego bricks are designed to fit perfectly together, there's still a tiny 0.2 millimeter gap between Lego bricks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I've gotta find a way to work around that. All I know is that I've already spent a fortune just getting everything together. The lights, the filter, the giant Lego head, Aquarium supplies. In the end, this video ended up costing me about $500. That may not seem like a lot in the age of Mr. Beast, but for me, that's a lot. I maxed out my credit card because I do want to take care of the fish and make sure he's happy. I ordered a bed of fish online and it's gonna be here soon, so I've gotta work quick to ensure my fish is somewhere to live once he gets here. While I'm building my aquarium, keep an eye out for these suspicious looking Lego fish hidden somewhere throughout this video. Before my bed is here, I gotta figure out how to assemble a fish tank out of Lego. Let's get to it. I'm starting out by pulling out a bunch of Lego. My game plan is to test the waters with a tinier build before making this aquarium on a much, much bigger scale. I'm piecing together some Lego to make a tiny box. I'm using super glue to seal it all in and make it waterproof so that nothing leaks out. It's meant to be a simplified model for my Lego fish tank. I even added some Lego kelp and other deep sea dwellers to keep things interesting. This might just be the world's smallest aquarium. I'll have to contact the Guinness World Records to fact check that. I was curious to see how this tank holds up. Will the super glue be able to keep the tank from leaking? I was very hyped about this idea of a tiny Lego aquarium. It sounds great in theory, but things don't always go as planned. No! It turns out a Lego fish tank can't actually hold water. Remember the 0.2 millimeter gap I told you about? I knew that would mess things up for all my hopes and dreams. I don't know if I'll be able to make a Lego fish tank that can actually hold water. I'm just gonna mess around and hope things work out. I need a new plan. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this box stop leaking. I went to Home Depot to try and find a solution. That's when I ran into this miracle of a bottle, Flex Seal. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Seal. Flex Seal is supposed to seal, coat, and protect even the toughest leaks or cracks. I've never used Flex Seal before, but I feel like I've heard about it, so I'm gonna give it a try and see how things go. I need to hurry up and figure things out before my betta fish gets home. So far, I've gotten nowhere, so he might just end up living in my bathroom sink. Hopefully the Flex Seal pulls through. It'll be crazy if this works. I'm pretty sure the Flex Seal is supposed to be able to, like, patch up a boat and get it to float to land, so I'm about to put it to the ultimate test. It's hard to get it in all the little nooks and crannies. You're a granny. If I can make this waterproof, then I'm hoping I can waterproof a much bigger Lego tank for my betta fish to live in. I'm being very generous with the spray tan. I'm not taking any chances today. I think that's looking pretty good. It's gonna take some time to dry though, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while. A few moments later. Now that it's dry as a desert, it's finally time to fill this up with some water and hope it doesn't flood my apartment. Okay, I didn't think it would actually work, but now that things are starting to finally come together, I'm sitting here contemplating my life's decisions. Could Flex Seal contaminate the water? I have no idea, but I wasn't about to have a dead fish on my hands. I want my betta fish to live a long life and not just die of toxins. Oops, whoops. That was me, that wasn't the Flex Seal. Flex Seal! After running into so many design failures, there's, there's not much time left before my betta fish gets here. So I ran to Petco and grabbed a clear, rimless fish tank. This'll do. Look at this big Bertha. Hey! 
I think things will be better this way since at least I'll be able to actually see through the fish tank. <laughs> Plus, since it's built by a professional, I know it'll be leak-proof, waterproof, and toxin-proof. It shouldn't be killing my fish with toxic waste, so that's always something to look forward to. The only casualty here is my wallet. No, 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 no. Brick by brick, I'm kind of weaving the pieces together in hopes of building a sturdy frame. It feels more like I'm trying to build the Great Wall of China. It's probably taking me just as long. You should just stick to painting squishy. Clearly, this is too much for you. You should just stick to painting squishy. Clearly, this is too much for you. This is probably by far my most costly and most tedious build yet. I want the interiors to be made entirely out of Lego. I want to build as much of this out of Lego as possible. I love creating creepy yet funny kinds of things, so I'm gonna stick to that vibe. I was thinking of making an aquarium that looks like a graveyard, but since it's underwater, I also wanted it to be a shipwreck. Like maybe the Titanic sank and now there's a bunch of dead bodies under the sea. A whole cursed cemetery. That's what I want to recreate, but slight obstacle. I'm not too skilled at building with Lego. Plus, I don't have a lot of room in this tank, so I'll have to build everything on a very tiny, minuscule scale. I know you don't see gravestones underwater, but for our purposes, I'm gonna build a ton of little grave markers. While I was building, my fish arrived. He looks like a feisty one. Oh look, he's following my finger, how cute. Oh, that's cute! Oh my god, see This is a real bed of fish. I haven't gotten a chance to name him yet. Since I named my cats Sniffeldorf and Tootmeister, both of which are German names, I'm thinking of giving my bed efficient German name as well. Let me know if you have a funny sounding German name in mind. I'm currently open for suggestions. I can't wait for him to explore his new tank, but first I gotta finish building it. I wanted a centerpiece for the tank, something that really caught your eye. I want your eyes to be glued to this Lego fish tank. So I went on Amazon and surfed around for something Lego related that I thought might be cool to put in a fish tank. I came across these Lego head storage containers. They're basically giant Lego heads that you can store other Lego in, but for my purposes, I'm just gonna use it for decor in my fish tank. I sloped up the sand to the back of the tank to add some depth. I want some different elevations for my Lego graveyard to sit on. Now that the head's in place, I think it's already looking pretty cool. Exactly what I envisioned. I have a pretty good eye for things. I added in a cemetery, the ship, a little decapitated head in a bottle just for the fun of it. I even added a whole haunted crew of Lego skeletons. <laughs> So far, so good. Now it's time to fill it up with water. Why do I regret this? <laughs> so good. I don't think you're doing this right. Should I Google it? Oh, there's a gravestone floating. They're all floating. I've got to figure out a way to weigh things down. But before I do that, I figured I should give my bed a fish a snack. Save it from starvation. I'm gonna try adding the Lego accessories to smaller bases and then bury those in the sand and rocks. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a try. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. There's probably a better way to do this. I just don't know it yet, so I'm making do. I'm starting to get nervous because if this doesn't work, then I'm kinda running out of options. I don't have a plan B. Turns out I need to find a plan B because these Lego builds are just not sinking. I'm bringing back my lord and savior, super glue. I didn't want to do this, but now I'm resorting to taking everything apart. I've decided to glue the Lego down to giant rocks, and theoretically that should fix everything. If this fails, then I'm about ready to give up since I'm rapidly approaching insanity. Okay. Who knew getting Lego to sink would be this much of a nightmare? It's pretty much impossible. I'm gonna leave these to dry overnight and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and the glue is completely dry and everything does seem to be sinking, so it might just be a good day today. I situated everything exactly how I Wanted. I even added a little buried treasure chest. It's all about the details. There's a lot of hidden Easter eggs in this tank. Blink and you'll miss them. I did some finishing touches, situated everything perfectly for my new little buddy. Uh, oh, he's sinking. Oh, he's fine. Uh, this fish tank took a lot of work and money and time, so if you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video. That's all for today. See you guys next week. Uh.